What up, Tube? I'm back with another gambling tutorial, and this time it's on Baccarat. Baccarat, Baccarat, however you want to say it. This is one of my favorite games, and I can't believe I haven't actually done a tutorial on this yet. I was going through games and seeing what I needed to update, and I've not done one of these yet. So, I'm going to show you how to play it. I'm also explaining how to play it. Also, if you would like to know, I am using Bovada. This is the... Uh, um, the simulator I'm using on Bovada where you can actually bet online, bet sports, so I'm using their simulator. Anyway, going forward, Baccarat 101. Basically, you're going to get um, two cards dealt to you and two cards dealt to the banker. Now, the object is to get the closest to nine, so it's kind of like 21, but you don't bust. If um, you bet on a player hand, um, you get you know your money, but you like even money. If you bet on uh, the banker, you only get 95% of your wager, so kind of like Pi Gal, you, you got to pay a uh, percentage to the house, okay? Now, for example, if you get two tens, that's a zero. If you was to get, say, a uh, seven and a nine, that's 16. You drop the 10, and that becomes six. If you already get two tens, that's a zero, and then you get a seven, then your score is seven. You always just drop 10 off of it. Now, here's something about the rules. If either the player or the banker is dealt a total of eight or nine on the first two cards, you just stand because that's called a natural. If the player's total is five or less, then you will receive another card. Otherwise, you will stand. So if you get a six or seven, you stand. Five or less, you draw another card. If the player stands, then the banker hits on a total of five or less. The final betting option is a tie. It pays out um, on here nine to one. Some are eight to one. Uh, it just depends. And there's also sheets available to track your score up here, which I don't understand because it's the same odds every time. So I am going to go ahead and deal. Unfortunately, this thing is going to deal it out and play it out. I'm going to try to explain it to you best I can while I do it. So let's just take ten dollars like we were playing in a casino. I'm betting on a player. So deal. Now my first card is a zero, and I've got a two, and he's got a seven. So I get one more, that's a zero, I lose. Because that is 22, basically you take all your tens off and your number becomes the actual uh, play. You see that red right there, that means that the banker won. People keep track of that, you'll see them writing down all the time. Alright, so we're back to ten, we're going to go ahead and bet again. I've got a seven against a four, now I have a two, and he's got a two. Now they're like zero for me, let's hope he gets a zero, nope, four, and he wins. So as you can see, you're trying to get closest to eight and nine, and there'll be shoes where I've ran the whole shoe as a player shoe. So I could bet with a banker, but I don't like to. I like to keep my money and not pay anybody uh, anything. And if you bet a tie, you get nine to one. So anyway, we're going to deal again. And let's go, we got a three, he's got a natural, and nope, now he's got a five. I've got a three, and he stays at five. This is a good shoe for me so far. We started at $1,000, so let's go ahead and rebet. And we're going to go back to it. And six, six, nine. Perfect, because he had eight. So I win with the nine. So there we go. Now, back up to 980. Let's go ahead and rebet again. Once again, let's see the face group. Four, six. Now I got a five, and I got a six. They beat me. Um, since I had five or lower, I got another card. Um, so I was trying to pause that if I could dig on it. I wanted to really kind of show you guys. It's hard when they go so fast. One, zero, there's a seven and a two and a two. So that's zero. That's zero. That's your score. That's why I have a seven and I win there. As you can see, it does this. And if you get, in a, if you get winning in a row, it'll come down here. This is just the hands how they played. Banker, 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 player, or banker, 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 player, banker, player, where this shows streaks, okay? So, anyway, we're going to rebet again one more time and see what I get. I got a six, three, that's zero. He's got a three. I need to beat a three. Nope, I got a zero. And he got a zero. So, unfortunately, my zero loses to the three. Now, like I said, this is one of those games where you can bet with a banker. I just don't like to. I like to bet on myself. So, I'm going to keep betting on myself here. And I have a five, and they have a three, 
and a two and a four. And you realize why that's 14, so you drop the 10, that's four. And then I have 12, so you drop the 10, that's two. So basically, that's what I'm trying to show you. It's, uh, it's really easy to count, just you know, hard to begin with. These are always zero, so you just take 10 off. And if I get a card here, I got a zero, they got a three, so three is it. So pretty much, that was a bad shoe for me, but you understand how it works now. Basically, face cards and tens are worth zero. Anything else is worth the point that it shows. And he's got a three. I need something there. I am getting now. If I was playing blackjack, we'd be real happy, right? So, anyway, that's a bad deal for me, but it does show you how to play it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Hopefully, this explains everything to you. You can also uh, go to Bovada, like I said, and, and play a little bit and learn as you go here with the same one that I'm using. Thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, have a great day.